Okay, we're calibrating I dig best 2019 June. Hold down the menu button five seconds. Go down to calibration, guys. Enter. Uh, machine number, just hit enter. You can go up or down there, change machine numbers up to 10. Uh, if you want to name it, just hit enter on the name and you can type it in. I like yellow and you hold down that until it goes. Oops, if you hold down too long, it goes to the next page. So the next page is everything green is what you program. So you can see it's green right there. Everything green is this basic program. Uh, there's a Boom 2 system, so green is what it should be. Uh, you can right arrow here or hit the F10. I always like to hit the F10 because it keeps screen clean. Uh, so the first one is Boom number one. So we picked the two Boom system, that's Boom number one. We have to get the measurement for that Boom. And that is from the main pin to the, to the dipper main pin, chassis main pin to that. And we've got 21, and it changes just to feet and inches. Uh, it says 112, so that's two feet. This one's a little different. This is, what is this one? 21, uh, 60. So 2160 is what that means is um, I get the length and I cancel, it makes zero. It's 21 inches, 60 hundredths. So it's a little over a half inch. And you just hit enter and it converts it to whatever you had it. Now the first one there it says side, it's facing left. If you're sitting in the cab, it's left side. Whatever the sticker is facing, it's facing left, okay? So we don't have to change that. You also have to put the angle in. So the angle is pretty simple. We do this with all of them. Um, and we have a help button. Anytime you hit the F1, it'll bring up a page to show you. Put a level from there to there. It'll tell you to measure the distance. The on, off. Pretty simple, okay? Anyways, I got a short level here, so I'll hold this to the center pin here, center pin here. Put the level on that thing. And, oh, my God, it's about perfect right there. That's crazy. Right there to there. So I move the... Have the operator move the boom up and down until I get exactly that, and I go down zero's level, hit enter twice. So we already put the number in there for you. So I go to the next page, F10, same function. This is the dipper, boom two, so boom one, boom two, that's this one right here. And it's facing left, there's a sensor, doesn't matter where you put it on the dipper, just put it on the head tree, small unit here, so. And we're gonna do the measurement, so we're measuring for the pin here to the pin here, rotating pin. And we can always hit the help button to see that. I'll show you to plumb it like that. That will say, we will enter that, that number. It's 11 foot one inch on this, 11 inches, 0.10. And then we'll do angle. Angle again is where you put the level. From that pin to there, you get it perfectly level. It's pretty damn close right there. And you wanna get as accurate as you can. Hit enter. And the negative 90 is already in there. You're going straight up and down. 90 down is negative. Enter again, and now it's put it in there. So we go to the next page. It's the bucket. Um, this is a tilt bucket on this one, believe it or not, so we're gonna learn how to do tilt buckets. But you want your tilt bucket perfectly straight while you're on this page. You don't want it left or right any, okay? Um, so you, you can put in what number bucket by hitting enter up and down, and here you can just, you can name it. You saw how we named it, same, same as the other one. Okay, it says dog bone bucket, that nose bucket's green. We try to always put it in uh, I've got this one in the bucket because it's so small, but usually in the quick coupler, that's the same as bucket. Um, so we get enter. It can be on the dog bone if you want to put on the dog bone. I don't like dog bones. Things get knocked off. Uh, so sensor facing. Uh, this one's facing right. It's a, it's a special sensor for the model, but yours will be like this. Try to face it left. I like to keep them all the same. It's a no-brainer. Uh, but this one, in this case, facing right. <coughs> Length. You're going to measure again. And you can always look at the F5 from the rotating pin of the quick coupler, if you have a quick coupler, to the end of the tooth, and it's gonna be plumb. Turn that back off, so I'm gonna measure, again, from there, that pin there, oh, pardon, hold this little thing, out to the end of the thing, and we're gonna input that number. So there's the number length right there, we go. Um, then we're gonna go to our negative 90, our angle, so we're gonna hold the bucket, and it's gonna be from that, that rotating pin to the end of the teeth, we're going to turn until it's perfectly straight, and we hit enter, enter, and we're going to be done. So then we go down. This is, since it's got, uh, this is the bucket, uh, Y is always in and out on all machines, and X is always tilt. So the width of the tilt, we've got 3.3 inches on this one, so you can type that in there. 
uh, angle X. Angle X is X tilting left to right. So as we tilt, so we want to set a level on the teeth, on the cutting edge, get it perfectly level. We're going to go in here and we're going to hit it perfectly level. Again, let's say it's perfectly level right there. Boom, boom. It's been put in. Uh, so then you're going to do a flat bucket, it's called, right down here, flat bucket cut. So you're going to set the bucket flat on the ground and guessing, sometimes it would be up or down, but guessing what it would cut flat uh, if you just pulled the lever back. You hit enter, puts it in there. So we're going to go on, x-ray vision page, different, different thing. So then we have yellow for tilt bucket and, and uh, blue for tilt rotator. So since we have a tilt bucket on this, I'm going to hit the button here. Let's see what it shows us. It's showing us we want to go from the tilting pin. That is this bolt right here, guys. The one it tilts on, so that's a pivoting pin. We want to measure down. So we're going to measure from that tilting pin, the center of it, to the cutting edge. Farthest out cutting edge. And we'll turn that back off. We're going to put that length in there, okay? Then we're going to put negative uh, 90 and is what that is, you can see a picture of it here if you look on the thing. See the level from the center of that pin to the cutting edge. So the center of that pin to the cutting edge. We're going to get that perfectly negative 90. And we're going to hit enter twice. And it's going to put it in there. Um, we don't have to worry about diameter because uh, we don't have a tilt rotator on this one. So we're going to go right arrow again. It's going to give us one more thing, angle a pin. So this is that rotating pin. You see how it is level there? So we're going to move this till this gets level with our level on it. So we get it exactly level. That's the pin that tilts left and right. And we're going to go down. We're just going to hit enter twice because it's already set to zero. That's level. Um, and you've, you've put in a tilt bucket now. So we're going to swing off through. This is for all kinds of other kind of bucket things. I'm turning off the uh, um, help button there. So now we've got uh, chassis, digging chassis. That's the chassis right here. Uh, we've got a a uh, um, sensor on the chassis on this unit. And we're not measuring where the sensor is, we're measuring where the center rotation is, where the center of this rotation is, okay? Which is right here. And if you hit the button right here, you can see it's showing you uh, to figure vertical, you go from center rotation to the, to the center of this main boom pin. That's what we measured for the two here. So you're just gonna measure with your Thing. You're going to look at the main pin on the boom, and you're going to look at the, the vertical of the cab, and you're going to measure over there, and you're going to get that number. I'm going to turn that off, and you're going to input that number right here, horizontal turntable. And this one happens to be 9 inches. So um, I'm just going to hit it like that, and I'm going to hit cancel. Cause it's the old one, 9, 0, 0, 9 inches. Enter. So the next one is the vertical to ground. Uh, vertical ground is this is that's the last pin you measured from or the first one in case you're going to measure from the center of the main boom pin down to the ground so might be five feet high on your machine might be less this one is pretty small one foot and then we're going to do uh, boom off center so this one the boom is mounted right on the center of the machine but you're going to notice that a lot of machines the boom is to the left if, from a top view so you're going to measure uh, your grease zerks, front of the fitting, whatever you got to do, from the uh, center of your rotation to how far the boom is offset. Most booms are not like this dead in the center. This one's zero because it's dead in the center. And then to calibrate, you take zero rotation. So you line your cab up with the side of the tracks here, and you hit enter. Oops. And it takes what I already took. And then you spin around 180. I can't spin this one around 80 until it's the other side. And you line up with the tracks again, you get down here, and you hit enter. And that's going to put in your rotation right there, okay? You do have to have the sensor on. Right now it's off. So i got to turn it to, it's facing left in this case, okay? So, enter. And when I go down, you'll see it. I take, line up the cab on this side with the tracks. And then I go down and rotate 180, and I'll hit it again. And that'll put in our numbers. Last one's laser. Here's your laser catcher. I got it on the main boom on this one, so that would be boom number one. It's on the left side facing left. You always want it on the side that your cab is. It's always better. So left side, boom one. If I have it on the dipper, which we normally put on the dipper because you have more reach, then that would be boom number two. We'd enter two. 
So to measure this, horizontal is, you've got these two pins here, what you measured for your main boom, and you've got to get a square, oops. You've got to get a square, and you take a square, and you go right up here to the center of this, and you find out exactly what that is. So you pull across like this, and this is 11 and a quarter, let's call it. So I just enter, and I go one, one, two, five, 11 inches and a quarter, enter, okay? Um, um, the vertical is the difference from here, or in this case, we can use a straight edge from the center of these two pins up to the center of the laser eye. So if that was the center of it, it'd be two inches in this case, okay? And the next one, oops. And the next one, of course, was, since I just went to the screen, I'm going to go through it anyways. The next one is how thick the boom is. So you're going to measure how thick the boom is to where this is mounted on there, because it has to know how thick the boom is in case it's sideways, okay? Then you get to this last page here, uh, and you want to go down to save. Right there, save. And hit enter. It'll save it. Boom, you're set up, you're all together, and you stick your bucket down the ground, you can rotate it and see if it stays zero. I don't have everything in this one, but that's how you test it. Thanks, and see you on the next video.